Indeed, greetings unto you, beloved and holy friends. Thank you so, so much for joining me again. Another video today is day two, 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 222 days we've been doing this for. 222 days, Kiki. That's a lot of days. That's a lot of days. That's a lot of days, yo. That's a lot of days, I know. Man, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Kiki, for joining us as well. I actually bathed her before today's stream. She was a dirty girl again. Don't bite me. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't don't. Please don't. Please don't bite my fingers. Thank you. She actually... Go get me your chew toy. Go get me that thing. I'll, I'll play with you. Yeah. Go get me... <laughs> do, do, do. I love you. I love you too, Yader. Thank you so much for joining me, my friend. No, no. You know what? I'll be back. I'm just gonna get her toy for her because that's the only way we're going to be winning, if anything. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Our learn looks like we're not going to get anything done today. I had some plans, you know, to make it a little bit special. But I mean, come, come here. Come here. Oh. Okay, 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 I'm gonna try and focus a little bit. Yeah, so fresh and so clean for now. Yeah, fortunately she is. For now. Like, uh, thank you for saying that as well. For now especially, dude. I'm gonna train so my servers may be spotty. I hope it's good enough to watch like, and to follow along, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Dave is here as well. Scarmelia and Toasty and Edmund. I think that's everyone for now. Thank you for joining me, friends. Uh, just give her 30 minutes. <laughs> You're right, Dave. That's the pain of it as well. Here, you want this this part of it, really? Why? 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 I wanted to roll myself a joint, but of course this little monster won't allow me to. Much, 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 much. Oh, so much, 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 much. Here. Maybe if I throw it. Go get Go get Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Get that thing. I kind of give you the only. She gets the, so she tried to get the one closest to her, but nah. Nah, 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 nah. That's way too much work for her. Uh, morning. Yeah, her name. I told you about this guy, come check him out. Thank you for talking about Miss Carmelia. I appreciate you sharing the love, my friend. I hope Paulu90, if he wants to join, enjoys joining us as well. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Toasty. Kiki, 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 I've been playing with you all day. I've been playing with you all day and then I gave you a bath as well. Can I, can I give, can I just get like a little bit of time? You know, even if I'm, behind closed doors <laughs> oh you're on the toilet are you nah no 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 I need to be inside of the toilet as well I need to get inside of your pants yes okay I think she got the message that she's being a little bit too rambunctious so I believe that she has chillaxed a little bit and with her being a little bit more chillaxed we can say something worth saying See each person as a blossoming flower, growing and becoming more beautiful for all of the world to appreciate. Oh, oh, we man, day two, two, two things worth saying is so on point, resonating. See each person as a blossoming flower, growing and becoming more beautiful for all of the world 
to appreciate. You're a beautiful flower, my friend. The most beautiful flower this world, this universe could have produced. Moving, breathing, idea expressing, feeling flowers, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me here. Do know that I see you each as the divine, beautiful, an absolute gift to this world. Thank you. Thank you for joining me and sharing the gift that is you with me today. Uh, also, hi, Meld. Hi, it's Carmelia. Thank you for joining us, my friend. Hey, Mammy is here as well. Thank you for joining us, Mammy. Uh, I have been thinking about what to turn to gold. I really like photography, so I could, so I could be the photos I take. Also, like the idea of light to become a beacon for people that need it. Sounds perfect to me, Yader. So now I'm imagining like an actual like printed photo in all of your photos, just like one of them happens to be made of solid gold. How heavy would that be? Maybe like 42 grams of gold, maybe. So maybe you get a bunch of them, dude. Bunch, bunch and bunch and bunch of golden leaflet photos. Sounds amazing though. So I have some interesting news, certain factors pending. I may be taking Scarlett and Amelia to my next training day at work so they can see behind the scenes and how everything works. That sounds really cool, Scarmelia. Are they looking forward to that? Have they, I mean, I hope they're in the loop of that. Maybe it's like a, a school ordained mo mother, father sort of, oh, take your kid to work day sort of thing. Like what is the, what is the extra details behind it? Sounds cool. Dame. And then thank you for saying hi as well, my friend. Jovan, I stopped watching The Matrix to be here. I'm so happy you say something about that as well. You know, I always, as you, as I kind of go into the art pan, as I go into art pan, I guess would be the way to say it, it kind of takes you to the, the front page first before you can, you can click it. And I like tuning into the front page stream just for a little bit and share some love, maybe like an upload, if anything. And then today I was like, oh, it's the Matrix on the front page. I mean, <laughs> cool, I guess. Isn't this illegal? I was like, yeah. I hope not, though. I don't think... I, I don't know. I don't know, you know. Live and let live. I haven't seen the Matrix movie in forever. <laughs> so maybe we have to watch it again. Uh, Jovan broke the simulation. Yes, you did. Don't know if that is funny or hilarious, but I love it. Yeah, yeah, that's literally, literally playing the Matrix on the front page. Be pausing the Matrix. So like, I'm, the only thing I'm thinking, you know, like, our pan is like three, three boxes down. The front page is like three boxes down to the entire internet. Then you go onto Reddit, you, you start scrolling and you just see like, on its side flipped, <laughs> Matrix, you know being broadcast all over the internet like okay i see i see we, we are actually living in the matrix <laughs> uh my cats love toilet ankle pants hammocks too why is that why is that toasty and they're very adamant about it as well kiki like literally will push my pants aside if, if it's like too collapsed so she can get right inside of there Mm, I hope it's the first Matrix. Uh, did you play the Joker? No, I'm not Heath Ledger, my friend. Yo, Melt fam, I miss y'all so much. Dan, oh Dan, you were here for day two, 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 my friend. We've missed you so much. Thank you for sharing this space with us again. Uh, oh, what kind of flower? I see Edmund. Hmm. Like, I'm not exactly sure if a flower like that exists, but like as a, a three-petaled flower, you know, purple and then light purple on the inside. Maybe with like a, a little ornament slash pollen holder on the inside of that little flower. What do you think, dude? Like, we should, we should like get a sign, if you will, flowers to one another. <laughs> I'm an NPC, sorry guys. Uh, I'm a loop again at the end of 50, 60 years or so. 50 to 60 year uh, NPC loop, dude. That's a lot of programming. <laughs> Damn. Imagine how much work you would have to put in. Oh, what a joke. Thank you, my friend. I'm happy I could make you smile or laugh. I'm here too. Thank you for joining us, Katie. It's so nice to have you here. 
Then I haven't seen you in a while. Got to go see you again. Hello from Mesa, Arizona, USA. Thank you for joining us again, Paul the Gamer. I'll just call you Paul the Gamer. Thank you for joining us, friend. I'm sure you're not here anymore, but love to you. I'm guessing we went front page again or something because I'm seeing so many new friends. And welcome. Thank you for joining us, friends. Heath Ledger, is that you? <gasps> no, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Heath Ledger has passed away. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to completely live up to what Heath Ledger has already done. I would like to learn how to act like that dude though. Like the Joker is genuinely one of my benchmarks to how well a, a person, uh, a human being can almost like fill out a character. Like to me, when I think of the Joker, I definitely think of Heath Ledger's version of the Joker. Jared Leto's was almost laughable afterwards. I realized it was a it was a different Joker. It was more of a manic Joker, where Heath Ledger's Joker is more dark, crazy, if you will. You know, wants to see the world burn, crazy. Where Jared Leto's Joker was more, look, I'm crazy. <laughs> that's that's the vibe I got from it, at least. Top mm. <coughs> <Don't> broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking on water and reading the top broadcast message. Thank you for joining us, Matthias. I appreciate you sharing the space as well. <clears throat> so handsome. Thank you, friend. <coughs> Damn it. I'm dying. The one thing I need to stay alive, or water, is killing me. Is it raining? It's been kind of overcast the entire day. So I wouldn't be surprised. But I would be a little bit surprised because it's not supposed to be raining during these winter days. I love it. All the golden photos. Yeah, all the golden photos. Just here for the dog. <coughs> she is asleep now. Thank goodness. Sorry, got to go. Someone is streaming The Matrix on the next stream over. <laughs> Goodbye, Karl Marx. Thank you for joining us, my friend. Does anyone else try to comment and it doesn't let you? When we go front page, that seems to be one of the things that happens as well. There's some sort of like common timer. So if you try and comment too much, it kind of handicaps you in doing so. Um, I believe we're no longer front page. Like we, oh no, I guess we still very much are on the front page. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to catch up to the comments anytime soon. But do know I'm going to try to. I'm definitely going to try to, friends. To you new friends here today. If you're wondering who I am, I'm Meltmore. <sighs> Today is day 222 of streaming every single day. We started doing this like... It, it started at the start of the year, obviously. And it was like a... At first, almost like something that I wanted to prove to myself. You know, that I would be able to do something like streaming consecutively for an entire year. And I think in that way it was a little bit of an egoic goal at first. And then as I realized how doing something consecutively not only has benefits to me, but to the friends that tune in as well, to you friends, you know, sharing the space with us right now, it grew into something so much more, you know, something, at least to me, that is sacred at this point, where I get to come to a space here on our pan, here on the reddits if you will and i get to share time with beautiful friends like you you know there's no nowhere else in the world literally nowhere else in the world where this many people are gathered to share a message of love with one another you know and that to me it makes me happy it it gives me so much hope for what this world is still to hold we're going to do wonderful things friends we're going to do wonderful things it's just a matter of time and we're putting in the time right here right now <laughs> and we're here with one another thank you thank you so much for joining me I appreciate you sharing this space were you the hippie in the trail in the 60s yeah I was that exact hippie on the trail my friend mm, enjoy I'm trying to read with the wind blowing my hair through my vision as well Yes, Katie, I was having some trouble. Same here, Katie, but I haven't had, I have had surplus. Where is the weed? The weed is being crushed at this moment, my friend. We're going to roll ourselves a joint. 
and we're going to share in this feeling in this space together. I was watching the Matrix stream too, lol. I was actually like, I mean, also for a bit watching the Matrix stream. It's hilarious. Love you all. Been so busy this summer, but today, this today, this are a bit more low key. So I wanted to pop in. Thank you for doing that, Dan. We appreciate you sharing this space with us. Decalcify your pineal gland. Yes, I would, you know, agree with that, my friends. If you can, you know, and this is definitely a little bit of my hippie shotgun theory, try and get yourself toothpaste that doesn't have that much fluoride in it. Like, look into an iodine supplement. I mean, even if it does nothing, having iodine in your body is good. It's been proven. It can actually, you know, up your intellect by a little bit. Go and look it up for yourself, though. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> I'm not winning with the win today. I'm so happy that I kind of have you recessed into a, a nook in the building at least. Sound shouldn't sound too bad. It might though. Hey! Oh hey front page. Subscribe to the guys on the YouTube and so continue the convo on Discord. Thank you. Like I'm, I'm so happy that we have Fun as well because even though we are on the front page right now, I still forget to to plug things, you know, as they say. Yep, 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 yep. Subscribe to the YouTubes, we're trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Join the Discord if you want to chat with us friends, if you want to continue, you know, as, as Jovan said, the conversation. If you want to share photos of yourself so we can know what you look like, if you want to share photos of your pets, of your food, of your weed, the memes you like listening to, or oh, listening to, the, the, the memes you like enjoying, the music you like listening to, the information you want to share, you are so welcomed to the Discord, my friends. And thank you, Jovan, for reminding me as well. I'm having to press send like 15 times before it actually does. I think it's a front page thing, Edmund. I have the same thing sometimes, my friend. Where are you streaming from? I'm streaming from South Africa. Show the dog, please. The dog is like knocked out of my lap, my friend. She's trying to sleep. Watch your watch. Watch your watch. She's my little angel. Mm, dude. Have you ever drank ayahuasca? I haven't, my friend, just yet. It is on my bucket list of things that I do want to do, but I'll probably have to go to Peru to do so. So, in due time, we'll get there as well. But it's probably not going to be anytime soon. Uh, Matrix 4 comes out next year, y'all buckle up. Matrix 4, I look forward to watching that as well. Thank you, John Carlo, for, for questioning everything, my friend. So when I say behind the scenes, I'm gonna be working at a haunted house. And just like with scary movies, we show them behind the scenes of how stuff works, uh, stuff seen showing how the monsters are made and stuff, and, and they're scared. That sounds cool to me, Scarmelia demystify some of the scaries for them by showing them that it's just humans, you know? The scariest thing on this planet is other human beings. And in the same breath, the most beautiful thing on this planet can be other human beings as well. And knowing that and being able to be that human being to other people, why wouldn't you, right? Why wouldn't you want to make someone's day a little bit better? Why don't you want to share a smile with someone why don't you just want to make your own life better by making other people's lives better? I genuinely believe that if you share energy in a way that is indicative of growth to the other person, both of you are growing. You know, and I know, I know I'm, I'm a hippie and the, we're all one thing. But if you can just for a second disband all of the things you've believed before, and feel into the nature that you are awareness, ever permeating awareness. Throughout your entire existence, you've been aware of your entire existence. And that awareness is the one thing that does not change. And it's the one thing we all share with one another. So becoming aware that you are that awareness, and that awareness is within each and every single one of the people that you spend your life with, within the animals that you spend your life, within the trees. You get to respect that awareness in a new way. You get to respect each other in a new way. And you get to realize that in benefiting the ones around you, you benefit yourself as well. Right? 
right? Is it is it that hard to believe? I don't think so. And I think in believing so as well, it just gives you that good information. You know, good information about what you're doing, why you're doing it, and feeling into that. What is my intention for today, friends? Good intentions? You know, I think so. Good intentions. So to you friends wondering what it is I'm doing, I like to write a little message on the, the paper. Don't worry, the ink won't get smoked. It is going to be covered by a filter. And then every single time I do end up smoking, I make sure to set whatever intention it is I believe I want to practice. You know, sometimes we add love, sometimes we add family, sometimes we add understanding, sometimes we add knowing. And in like practicing the <laughs> practicing the practice of intention, I don't know if that's the correct way to say it. In practicing more intentional behavior, I guess would be the right way by doing stuff like this. You're basically firing a pattern riff inside of your brain, right? Like my intention for this joint that I'm rolling today is good intentions. I have good intentions for myself, for this world, for the people that I spend time with. And then doing that, you know, setting this intention for myself, every single time I take a puff of this joint, I can re-remind myself. Good intentions, good intentions, good intentions. This wind is kind of wrecking me today. I have hair in my mouth. <laughs> and it's very cold, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm happy to be warmed up by the love you friends are sharing with me right now. Know that I'm sharing love right back. Mm. Uh. And there we go. We have successfully rolled ourselves a joint. Show the doggo, please. The doggo has been shown by Fred. Here she is for a better view before I move on. You want to come and see me work, so I'm hoping this has the same effect. I hope so as well. Is this South Africa? Yes, it is. Lying behind you. Oh, no. It's probably this big ass head of hair dude, that you're, that you're seeing. Can I be a bud? Yes, you can. I am okay if you smoke me, lol. Please, you can definitely be a bud, hater. <laughs> Actually, I think I know of a flower like that. I think I know of a flower like that as well, Lane. That's the thing. I just don't know its name. What am I watching? <sighs> you tell me, friend. We share love here. We come into a space in which we believe love is true. And then here we find that. You know, we find that to be true. Sometimes I'm hurt, sometimes I'm upset, sometimes I'm not feeling like love is true. And then I come into this space, as I do every single day, then I get reminded. Either I remind you, or you end up reminding me. And as long as we can continue to remind ourselves that love is real, love is the truth, you know, then we're going to save this world. We're going to save this world, friends. It's going to be a very big task. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be something that comes, you know, out of nothing. We're going to have to remind ourselves every single day of what we believe is important. <sighs> chaos and order. This universe is chaos and order. Which part of the universe do you want to be? Do you want to be the part that is complete chaos, complete destruction? Do you want to be the part that is complete, you know, order and conformity? Do you want to find yourself somewhere in the middle? I believe leading towards order, you know, you can say love and fear as well. Leaning towards love a little bit more, even if you can't do it. 100% of the time. By trying, you're still going to find yourself a little bit on the other side of the spectrum. You'll feel less chaotic. 
more secure in the knowing that you are loved, my friend. You know, and like this is something I wanna, <laughs> I wanna like say as well. Like this, I know again is another one of the the hippie theories, but in all the understandings of our universe that we have right now, right? Like if it's a simulation, if it was created by a deity, or if it was just the Big Bang and it created all of the matter that we're made up of right now. There is a weight, you know, a value system to this life. And the fact that we are right now, you know, biology as it is right now on this planet, on the scale of our universe is so unlikely, you know, extremely, extremely, extremely unlikely. And yet here we are, here we all are. We're allowed to share the space of one another. We're allowed to exist at the same time. And I believe that if we weren't valued infinitely, if we weren't loved infinitely, even on a, like a simulation basis, if we weren't valued, they wouldn't be processing put towards us, you know, no matter how you want to imagine that processing. If it's love, if it's electrons flowing through transistors, if it is just, you know, the arrangement of atoms, we are infinitely loved. And to realize that love and to love others with that same love, that is the way to divinity. That's, I do, that's what I believe at least. My friends, for good intentions, I'm going to light this joint right now. Hmm, good intentions. Mm. Hot diggity damn. Do you have sound? I have sound. You probably have to press little button down here or there if you want sound as well. You look like you have a quest for me. I do. I do have a quest for you, in fact, friend. Take as much love from this space as you can. All right? Step one. And then go and give it to someone else. To multiple someone's else's, if you will. That's your quest, friend. Go and complete it and return tomorrow for another quest. Spoiler alert. It might be the same quest. But it's still fun every single time, I promise. <laughs> Give me a roll of an R with the South African accent, my friend. Roy Ribokram is one of the reisels that we for ourselves in South Africa can let praat, my friend. The R is what we roll. Yeah, we can R roll. <laughs> what kind of flower would melt be, though? I already think I know what kind of flower I would be. There's this little cactus flower that almost grows directly on the ground. I'll send a photo in the Discord. It is gorgeous. Uh, appreciating beauty has nothing to do with sexual preference. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. Day 222 of what? Your voice is audible chocolate. I love hearing that, my friend. Thank you so much for saying something so beautiful. I have been doing this stream for 222 days consecutively and I plan on going indefinitely. I'll never stop sharing love till the day I die, my friends. And that is that is what this has become for me. Thank you for joining us. Not quite, Nets, not quite. Waltzing, Matilda, where are you at? South Africa, yes, you are. Can't remember the name right now, but I've seen pictures. Thank you for like trying to find it as well, Lane. What in the Jon Snow? Chris Chan, I thought you were in prison, man. Another Chris. That, yeah, you are on the front page right now. I think we might still be. Yeah, we very much are. I'm already 17 minutes behind on the comments. I'm sorry, friends, but do know that I read every single one of your messages. That is kind of the point of these streams for me as well. So even if I don't get to read your message in today's stream, I'll still read it afterwards. Thank you for choosing to love in this space with me, for creating this space with me. You look like uh, pick the weed out of the carpet and smoke. You look like you pick the weed, I guess. Not quite, my friend. Picking the weed out of the carpet, you'll probably get some fibers as well. And fibers will 
not exactly burn that well. It's going to get like off gas some stuff. You don't want to breathe those off gases. Mm -hmm. And the wind is not letting me win today. <laughs> I just feel lucky when I go to Reddit and this is on the front page. Astro Man. Oh, namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your love with me, friend. I ain't a friend. Yes, you are, Nets. Of course you are. To me, the word friend and the reason I choose to say it as much as I do, it means to me that you're my equal, you know. A friend is someone you can walk side by side with. A friend is someone who listens to you in a, in a friend group. A friend is someone who waits for you when you're tying your shoelaces. A friend is that, that person that listens to you when you want to sob crying and celebrates with you when you're having something happen in your life that's fantastic. That, that is what a friend is. And it's something that has changed my life, you know, literally changed my life. Not only having friends that genuinely care about you, but being a friend that cares about others. Know that you can do the same for other people, my friends. Be someone's friend. Be a genuine friend. Be a genuine friend to the friends you already have. It's the dancing in the rain, guys. Sup, bro? Haven't seen you in ages. Haven't seen you in ages, friend. I mean, I'm here every day. If you want to join us, thank you for joining us right now. I'll see you again. What is this? This is love being shared, friend. Leto sucked. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't say he sucked, but he didn't portray the character as I had imagined it for myself. Are you in Bloemfontein? No, I'm not, friend. If you spill weed on the carpet and didn't pick it out to smoke it, then you're spoiled. <laughs> Are you drinking? No, I'm not, Fred. I'm drinking water. You look like you make a moonshine at night. Why would I make it at night, Fred? I can make it during the day so I can see what I'm doing. We are all dying. Yes, we are, Fred. We are all dying. And yet, here we are alive right now. Projecting our consciousnesses into the future or past, you know, trying to problem solve, trying to think of different ways to do things, trying to think of things we've done and how we shouldn't do them like that again. It's great, you know, in moderation. That shouldn't become the basis of your casual awareness experience, right? Coming back to this moment and the, the, where we are right now is what it's about. And it's so easy to get distracted. I get distracted all the time. I'm so happy to have a place in which I can at least have some sort of flow. I prefer the Batman series from the 60s. It's hilarious, the must-see. Yeah, but I think there, back then, they didn't take superhero movies that seriously. You know, with that POW! KABLAW! <laughs> KABOOM! <laughs> oh, they were a vibe, though. Is that Mark... Gaiman? No, it's not Mark Gaiman, my friend. This is Meltmore. Nice to meet you. I was about to say, where is your joint? Here it is, Mr. Pig. What kind of trees are those? This, I do not know. That is a mulberry tree, my friend. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What time is it there? It is 41 minutes past four right now. Kira is here as well. How are the bestest friends ever today? Lane, Toasty, Jovan, all the loves. How are you? Thank you for joining us as well, Kira. You are so well received, my friend. Thank you for sharing your presence with us. The difference between Leto and Ledger is that Ledger Joker... Ledger's Joker is human. Ledger's Joker is vulnerable while also being intimidating. Leto is like a cartoon. He has no ego. Yeah. Very, very well put as well, Dan. Very well put. Yeah, like, I think, like, Heath Ledger's variation, if you will, of the Joker was something that you could, as you said, relate to as well. You could see some of his brokenness as human, whereas Jared Leto's was a little bit more picturesque, if you will. It was like this depiction of what the Joker was supposed to be instead. Thank you for the silver, my friend. Are you South African? Yes, I am. What kind of trees? Mulberry and I don't know. Southern Hemisphere? Yes, I do live in the Southern Hemisphere. South Africa, you're right. Damn, I live there. Thank you for sharing this space with me. Where are you right now, South Africa? Here are you go right on the way. <laughs> Chill, guy. Uh, you seem so happy, my friend. I am happy, and I hope to share this happiness with you. 
Thank you for sharing yours with me, friend. I think those are acacia trees. None of these are acacia trees, unfortunately. But thank you for trying, my friend. Uh, Leto's Joker was more like, I'm gangster who's trying to look crazy as fuck. Yeah, but if you're crazy, don't say it, show it. Exactly. Like, man, Heath Ledger's... Oh, for, for me, one of the favorite scenes, you know, is, is watching, like, the, the hospital scene. Actually, the whole hospital scene. Where he's talking to... Harvey Dent, I guess, is his name, right? And, like, the, the whole revolver to the face bit. Like, you can very much see he's holding the hammer back. So, there is... Yeah, he's just an absolute fantastic actor. You've, you've seen the movie. I want to watch it again, actually. Melt, my dear, your front page. And maintaining at 5 to 6k. Good luck catching up with the comments. Like, I think we have... We have been over the hump now. I'm still 22 minutes behind, but I'm, I'm gonna climb this mountain. Uh, I heard in his accent, the South African thing, E, you're right. Oh yes, you are front page. Thank you, Cosmos, for being here with us. So many new friends have been met. Uh, best, ex best, best, best example is when Ledger's Joker gets called crazy. Uh, this bothers him and he's like insecure about being perceived as crazy. Where, whereas Leto's Joker's insecurities, you know, you're very right. And, like, I wonder, I think there is more to the Joker's experience as well. You know, like, he... <sighs> he did things for the sake of irrationality as well. You know, when he burned all of that money, that's a lot of money he burned. Like, realistically, a few billions of dollars of money that he burned. Man, I don't want to get into the Joker now, actually. <laughs> this is why he said water. Am I saying it incorrectly? Water? Water. Yes, I'm drinking myself some water. Staying hydrated as I am. Taking big sips of water to stay super duper hydrated. Kiki, I know it's getting cold. The wind is cutting me. Oh my goodness, this accent. Awesome. I'm happy you appreciate it. Man, people are curious about the trees. <laughs> you know nothing. I know nothing. You're so right, friend. Can't trees. What kind of trees say water? Oh, where is he from? You smoke stem? No. Uh, have to go to work. Oh, but I'm listening. Keep melting kicky company for me. Thank you, Dave. I love you, my friend. I think we've we've had a lot of company today. That sweet little baby. Sweet little baby is back. We session together. Yes, we are, friend. Thank you for joining me. The devil's letters. Where you get your weed? Can you share your source? I grow my own, friend. My parents just came back. I think he is Welsh. Not exactly. Melt, I'm sending you strength to get through all of the comments today. You have your work cut out for you, Godspeed. Thank you, Yater. Thank you for the strength you're sharing with me. No, yo, good morning to you again, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Lisa is here as well. You're holding a grinder, right? That was a grinder. The thing I was using, yes, my friend. Now I'm holding a joint. Good intentions. I'd be lost without you friends and these streams. Edmund, and to all of you friends, if you ever feel lost, just remember, you're going to find yourself right here. Not necessarily in the stream, but the here in which you are already and always are. We're not lost. But I'm so happy that we found one another. Thank you, friends, for joining me in this space. Like, I cannot... I cannot explain how much I appreciate you for sharing it with me. <laughs> Where is he from? South Africa. I think I've said it enough by now. Uh, I will be the Trinity <laughs> to your Matrix or Narvi. Thanks for streaming. Thank you, Cosmos Kitten. <laughs> mm, I'd be lost if that you have already one. Nice trees. Thank you, friend. Your dog is adorable. I love your positive energy. Thanks for sharing both. Thank you for taking both, Moon Attic. I'm happy that you can appreciate this energy with me.
Swedish, not exactly. He is South African, yes. Hi, Weird Al. How have you been doing? I've been doing well, Necro. How have you been doing, my friend? The Jazz Cabbage, yes, boss. The Jazz Cabbage has been treating me well today. It is dying a lot, though, but... Yeah. Do you even know what kind of trees... Goodness. What's up with the freaking trees? <laughs> Oh, uh, damn, bro, that's crazy. But can I see them feet, though? No. I'm not going to show you my feet, damn it. <laughs> There's probably already pictures somewhere. <laughs> I wonder if Ganja down there is any good. You'll have to come here and try for yourself. Looks like some bammer weed. I don't know what bammer means, but it's homegrown, my friend. What weed does to... <laughs> the electric lettuce <laughs> I missed it uh, it looks like a fake background of a fan blowing on his face I mean like just the fact that it changes exposure I don't I don't have to prove to you that it's not a fake background I mean if it's beautiful enough for you to think so maybe that's a good thing the dank kind lol thank you I'm guessing that's what you mean with trees this is I, don't, I haven't given it a name. To me, I called it um, BB Bud because it was the the best. I think the best bulbous buds. It had like really round forming buds, but yeah, that's what I called it. It's supposed to be some sort of CBD strain, but I I literally got like six different types of plants from one bag of seeds so i'm not sure if it's good information to go on you're adorable love you friend thank you thank you for talking with me on the reddits thank you rosie for talking with me as well you're smoking a bowl together from <laughs> thank you for joining me friend defo south african accent vibes you're right hey salty thank you for joining us what is he doing i'm trying to catch up on the comments like failing but i am trying <laughs> what state are you in california south africa I love you as well, Kira. I'm from India. Welcome, AP Gaming. Thanks for amplifying the good vibes. Thank you for sharing your good vibes with me and amplifying it in turn. Wow, lots of peeps watching. We do. We had, I think we still have, you know, arguably a lot of people watching. 420? I mean, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> good vibes, friends. Good intentions. Good intentions for your own life. Good intentions for the lives of those around you. Good intentions for your pets. Good intentions for plants. Good intentions for the people that you interact with. Good intentions for the people who serve you. <sighs> Having good intentions for this world changes everything. Thank you, friends, for sharing your good intentions with me. What's your foot situation like? Foots and trees, this is cringe. I hope you can stomach it a little bit away, disc. Love your energy and I love you, friend. The trees in the background, I mean. 143, I love you. Yeah, I finally got you live again. Thank you, Salsa, for joining us live again. Mm, parents' net worth over 4M. Unfortunately, no. You know, that would make a lot of things easier. But no, 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 no. not exactly, my friend. Is he crushing weed? Yes, I was, friend. I was crushing weed. Just the man of a dog and his weed. American dream. Yeah, that's that's literally all I am, friend. Oh, yeah, wake and bake. Thank you for joining us. The real life Jesus. Man, I, I can imagine the real life Jesus waking up and baking as well. A lot of people don't know, but Jesus didn't actually live a stable life. He pretty much lived at like a nomad, you know, traveling around, never settling down. And then when he actually started to serve, his entire servitude was like three years long. And I'm not a Christian, to you friends wondering. I just find it fascinating looking back on these things, learning from what they've known. Yeah, you're gonna smoke a bowl too, have fun. Thank you, friend. Thank you for joining me. You shouldn't roll in the wind. Don't tell me what to do. Or don't tell the wind what to do, technically. <laughs> <clears throat> How do you say weed in Swedish? I'm not Swedish, but I can say weed in Afrikaans, which would be Daha. Daha of the soul. Those are the two. Like your curls. Thank you, friend. They grow this way right out of my head. 
Chris Pratt really went off the deep end, I guess. Heath Ledger is back. Sparking some Durban poison from Dominican Republic with you. Thank you for joining me, friend. I hope that Durban poison treats you well. None of us are your friends, numbnuts. You're my friend, friend. You cannot not be my friend. Because again, a friend means to me someone that I see as my equal. Someone that I would m walk side by side with. And even if you don't, consider yourself as my friend or won't do the things that a friend would do for me i would still do those things for you so it's not i don't need your consent to be my friend <laughs> it sounds horrible but i'm you know i'm joking no but the rug really ties the room together man does anyone notice they only sell shit quality grinders now. What the hell happened to all of the steel ones from back in the day? They want you to keep buying them, friend. They want your grinders to break so you can go and buy another one. They don't want your grinders to last 10 years. Two years is better because then you're buying more. <laughs> People who are this positive tend to be truly worn down by sadness and anchodonia. Is this your daily escape from inner feelings of emptiness? Not necessarily emptiness, but I do do a lot of contemplative work, my friend, where if you didn't necessarily understand the way that I process things, you might consider me to be in a state of sadness because I won't necessarily be smiling and I'd be very quiet, kind of working inwards, thinking about things, looking inwardly for answers for extended periods of time and then... I can come here and then do what it is we're doing here. So extreme introversion into extreme extroversion. Green screen? No, not exactly, friend. This is a real laugh. <clears throat> what am I watching and why do I love it so much, my friend? Because love is real. Love is real, that's why. And we come here together to believe that, to share that feeling with one another. Uh, I feel like I'm watching an alternate universe Jon Snow where he was sent to the south to just chill instead. Yeah, I was like, I, I had two options. Go and defend oh, the ice wall or go and chill. <laughs> and I was like, damn, defending the ice wall. And then I had my fortune read and I was like, you're going to die a bunch of times and stuff. And I was like, nah, I don't think I want to do any of that. The wind will ruin that joint. It did it, my friend. It is ruining my core temperature, though. Uh, do, do you even know what trees are around you? <laughs> Some of them I do know, yeah. But I don't know about all of them, my friend. Do you know about all of the trees around you? You're beautiful. Thank you for sharing your day and smoke time. Thank you for sharing yours with me as well. I eat clown ass. That's a hectic name. But I love you nonetheless, friend. Just a big fan. Thank you. Marijuana is legal in South Africa. It's been decriminalized. So, yeah, basically legal. Thank you for the hugs, my friend. I appreciate it. It's slightly annoying when we are front page. We get some real annoying people. It's okay, Lisa. I, I believe even in the annoyance, right, there is still an opportunity to love. And that's how I see it. Bro, I drink a bottle of iodine per day. That's that might be a little bit excessive, a wee bit, Dan. But check, like, just the I, I, I take like six drops of iodine. <laughs> uh, kind of. We just decriminalized in South Africa. Thank you, bleep blue blob. I appreciate you answering our friend as well. Ain't legal here. I've alerted the authorities. Oh no, Nets. Just love that. This is some peak stoner shit. Thank you for joining me, friend. Ah, oh, the wind. The wind has not ceased. I feel like it has been going on like this the entire stream. Fast, fast to nowhere. I'm happy you think so, my friend. How is the street weed there? I don't smoke street weed, so I can't tell you. Fluoride classification, the pineal gland is definitely not good for you. And how is Australia, my man? Please do not get the job. The jab stay strong. Uh, I do not live in South Africa, and yeah, I'll just keep it there. Thank you, friend. I'll stay strong if you still stre if you'll stay strong as well. We are good. Is your hair naturally curly? Yes, it grows this way right out of my head. What a loser stoner! Thank you, God, Matsuru. I appreciate you sharing your your time and your space with us as well, my friend. South Africa is your location. That is very right. Fluoride water filter gang, there we go. I'm definitely curious, you pleb, no one cares. I'm genuinely curious, you pleb, no one cares. I mean, you care enough to say something, right? So you're kind of 
sayings to me, someone does care, you know, and I'm literally 30 minutes behind comments because people care. <laughs> you can't, like if, imagine, so just imagine you have tons, tons of evidence and then this one, one document comes in like, oh, no one cares. But I'm like, but look at all of the people that care. No one cares. But you're wrong. <laughs> I love you nonetheless, friend. People do care. I hope you know that. People care about you as well. I care about you, Bury Me Big. Seems like a dude I want to smoke a joint with, lol. Hopefully one day we'll be able to, Nova. That's why we're doing this, friend. We're, we're manifesting it right now. Coming together. We can smoke a joint together. Lisa, I feel the same, but I'll just wait the crowd as this first. Iodine can be dangerous regarding thyroid, though. Yeah, you shouldn't overdo it. You're very right, Rina. <clears throat> I get anxiety induced panic attacks when I smoke weed now after eight years I cannot smoke anymore then don't smoke anymore friend that is probably a very clear message from your body letting you know that it's now time for you to stop let's do the poppers the poppers have been has been freed my friend she's on her own again I don't know where she is goodness it's cold mama can you let me have some bags bring us a please My sister just told me, no, be cold, suffer. <laughs> yes, see. This lilac. <laughs> it's very cold. It's is soft. What is this not? No, it is not. Oh, don't kiss the soft. See, that's a bitch, I bedoel it. I feel it, I feel it. I'm going to go to the cricket. Is My sister is playing cricket. The more you know. Um, you are a great person, and you are a great person as well, my friend. Know that you can't see anything in me that you don't have with inside of you as well. And that's the reason we can come together in spaces like this and share the feelings and energy that we do with one another. If we didn't know, you know, intrinsically that there is value within sharing space with one another, in recognizing one another for the beings we truly are, then we wouldn't be here, literally. So know that you're a great person as well, friend. <laughs> the work experience stream, yeah. Uh, exactly, man. Um, I sure wish I had weed right now. Hopefully, at some point, you will. Worry full stoner. That is such a fitting name of your comment as well. Weed is a lie. Yeah, weed is, weed, is not, weed is not true. A bottle of iodine is too much. Way too much. Take six drops, if anything, or like three drops. But, but don't do anything, I say, technically. I'm not a medical professional. What are you picking up your weed? Little, like, close to my weed plants, there were... I don't know what you call them exactly. They are almost like... Dandelions are these dandelions that you blow away, but they're smaller. So they have like these little hairs That I'll take off of my buds mm. Hippie, Teren, Egerton, dog join all the plugs for exclusive access to early bird tickets to Globama to freaking Dan Dan just as I forgot what Glo Globama is you had to show up again <laughs> Just as I have scrubbed I have Reallocated that brain power to something else. You need a bigger grinder, my friend. I'm firing one up to you from Philly, USA. Thank you for joining me, friend. The wind is wrecking me and my hair today. But I'm not gonna care. Mr. Broomhead, I am the same now with panic attacks. I don't understand it and I hate it. I believe it's just your body letting you know. Your body letting you know, like it's time. Yo, 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 food for 20, but dumb. Thank you for joining us, doggo. This is a great spot. Thank you for joining me in this spot, friend. So cute, I think it's real. It's very much real, friend. Have you been to Burning Man? No, I haven't. I would like to go to Burning Man, though. Deals, what's the dog's name? Her name is Kiki. They won't come after you toking in Africa? No, they won't, fortunately, ego. It would be a little bit hectic if they did. The people that really want to stay and listen will still be here when the stream has gone off the front page. That is true. That is true, Mammy. You friends that are here right now, thank you. 
thank you so much for still being here and sharing the space with me. You are so appreciated. You are so cool sounding, dude. Thank you, friend. The, the sounds come out of my face this way. I don't have too much say in them. I can, if I wanted to, speak with a little bit of an accent, I guess. Or I can speak like this if I wanted to. You know, it would be a vibe. I've been trying, actually. I've been thinking about practicing different accents. Not necessarily as, a, as an acting thing, but as a book reading thing, you know. If I'm going to be reading about or reading for different characters, I would want to give them different voices as well. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you for hanging out with us. Opinions and shrooms. I do believe they grow naturally from the earth, my friend. God damn, hippies everywhere. Yeah, guitar rules. It happens, my friend. It's the next wave. It's the next wave of the hippies. They're coming for your loved ones. I'm gonna love them more than you can. <laughs> what time is it in South Africa? It is three minutes past five. Hey, Trevor. Thank you for joining us. How is South Africa right now? A little bit better, Wattel. Thank you, friend. I envy you, my dude, getting stoned on what seems to be a beautiful day. It is a bit of cold and windy and overcast day, friend, but it has been so beautiful. You don't have to be envious. Just enjoy it with me. Looking, uh, smoking a spliff for you in Hamilton, Ontario. Thank you for joining me, friend. I'm gonna light this for you again then as well. Damn it. You're really handsome. Thank you, friend. And, uh, mommy and daddy love each other really much. <laughs> they make me, you know, kind of turn out as a combination of the two of them. Didn't have much say in how I look. I do have say in what I say, though, so I want to tell you that I love you and thank you for joining me, friend. Uh, how are you doing? This is so much wind. Yeah, it's, it's not that much wind. It's just the, the exact amount of wind that can keep you very cold. <laughs> Be safe there. The night the shot, your life depends on it. Thank you, Playboy. Some say Golden Teacher Cubans is one of the best I've experienced in my 36 years. Mm. Golden Teachers. It's kind of a mystery strain as well. It's kind of new in the world of psychedelics. Doesn't have the history of use either. So I believe in ways it's like a, it's the mushroom for the times. Must be hot where you are, love the puppy dog. It is hot during summer, but it is winter right now, so it's kind of cold. Dude out there looking like John Sleet, lol, hilarious, oppy. Humans, winter is coming, winter is here, friend. Is weed legal in South Africa? Yes, technically decriminalized. Try CBD, I have the same issue, and it literally dissipates the tension I have in my core from anxiety along with the feelings in my head. Thank you for recommending that as well. CBD can help. Uh, I see you have been at the lasagnas again. I don't know what that means. You've been at the lasagnas? I've gained another, like gained more weight again? Maybe a little bit, my friend. A real Redditor right here. Thank you for joining me, friend. Yes, we're all real Redditors. That's why we're here, right? I can dig that. How is the weed not flying around? It's so windy. By sheer force of will, friend, it stayed put. 6.9k, nice. <laughs> Feed that dog. The dog has been fed plenty of times today, my friend. I can hardly roll in the car and it looks like he's rolling in a tornado unfazed. <laughs> I'm happy you can share the space with me, friend. Hippies are the best. Hippies, to me at least, the, the word hippie is an acronym that stands for highly intellectual person pursuing inner enlightenment. That's what it's about. You can get this man to 420 upvotes, lol, that's hilarious, OG. Uh, what kind of weed do they have in Africa, or you grow your own? I grow my own, friend, yes, but you get all of the kinds of weed. Anywhere you can, you know, buy seeds, you can take it anywhere else and grow the same weed. Uh, this will be my afternoon today. Thank you for joining me, friend. Lightweight, same. If you need some music for your journey, I got you. Thank you, friend. Maybe I'll take you up on that. 
Oh, to the stars, thank you, Dad. Is she Afrikaans? Like, it is Afrikaans, my friend. Um, I'm so, I'm too scared to try either CBD or THC now. The panic attacks are so terrifying, but thanks for the advice. Take your time, Mr. Broom. There's no pressure to be pushed in any direction, my friend. You being sober is just as divine as an experience. Keep being a hippie, bro. I will, friend. Can you say water? What, what is up with the water comments as well? I think I've seen that comment like 50 times. Water, 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 water. Okay, I think I've said it enough times now. We like hippies, light and love, light and love to you as well. I remember my first year in college too. I'm so high, bro. Preach. I love you, my friend. Thank you for joining us. No, not exactly. Mega cool. Say aware again, aware. All you need is your awareness of, your awareness of, your awareness of, your awareness of. <laughs> realize that you realize that you realize that you realize. Dissolve duality, we're all light, we're all love, we're all melting, my friend. Stay aware. <laughs> Beautiful sentiment, man. Love you, friend. I'm happy that you could resonate with it as well. Can you show us how to roll a good joint, Canadian? It's legal here. I suck at it. I still have to actually make a proper joint rolling stream. I did say that I will at some point. So I have to at some point. Joint rolling stream. Tutorial stream. <laughs> Mother Nature is not having any of my shenanigans. Oh, what? You wanted hair, bitch. <laughs> uh, I am dissolved. You're melting my mind when I'm stoned. Please do melt away, friend. Melt away and then reconsolidate into something that is even stronger and better. You're not the body. You are not even the mind. Yes, you are the awareness of the body and the mind. Doesn't make you feel high. Yeah, it's true, my friend. Thanks for spreading the love. Thank you for receiving it, Cole. He's like, oh shit, that was sick, huh? I just said said that. I just said that. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know what you're talking about at this point, but yeah. Holy melty melt, you're not you're just going up almost 7k maintaining. Okay, back to the spreadsheet, back later. Thank you, Dave. I do think today was maybe our one of our like record streams. I'm 40 minutes behind comments. I'm gonna try and do it a little bit faster. Cheers, Mel. Get some skunk five. I'm guessing that's a weed strain. Cheers, Edmund. Thank you for joining us. So what's going on here? Cerebral sativa. What I'm smoking? I think it is more leaning towards an indica, actually, my friend. <clears throat> do you know, no, no, no. You write on your joint, that's why I'll air. Yeah, on the part that I don't smoke, that is. It's a bit windy. Oh, I thought that was weird. Hell. Hey, Siri, define stone. <laughs> Can you say what, not another water one? I've said it enough, I think. Weed stocks will be taking a hit very soon. I'm packing my bong, and today my intention is understanding and acceptance. That's a perfect intention to set, Dan. Bruh. Yeah, I feel pretty bra as well now. Where are you, bruh? Bra looks chill. I'm living in South Africa, friend. What strains in Africa? All of the strains that you have in America as well, friend. This is a beautiful practice. I usually say what my intentions are before I smoke or I'm rolling, but writing it on the paper is, mu is such a marvelous thought. I hope that you can take it with you, friend. It has helped me significantly in reminding myself, you know. Writing it down, I have that visual representation of it as well, what the word means to me, the pattern it fires in my brain, if you will, as well. Thank you for the wholesome, friend. Cheers, bro, I got one too. Good for you, friend, I'm happy. Hope you enjoy it. Hi, puppy. Lol, same. John B, is that you? Not exactly, friend. Yeah, yeah, good intentions. You, where is this the best? It gets cold in Africa. Sometimes it does. Thank you for the ally, Helium. What strain? BB, like, BB Bud. That's the one that I like, hold it in the jar. Where are you from? From South Africa. I'm watching my cannabis stock on my other tab. I hope it only goes up for you, friend. Prosperity to you. Thank you for the wholesome. It's trying too hard. I'm trying as hard as I can, friend. I'm still 41 minutes behind. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm really trying, friend. I'm gonna try as hard as I can. Don't you worry. 
melt YouTube. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, oh, South Africa, I think, based on accent, you're right. Um, South Africa, how often do you blaze good, sir? Often, friend. Looks like John Snow, clearly a hippie. Looks like Jesus and has colorful clothing. My guy is wavy. I'm melting, friend. Hey, you're back. Yes, I am, friend. I'm here every single day, though, so, like, I don't leave, technically. I'm never leaving. I'm gonna go until I'm no longer capable of going anywhere. Hey, hey, 420, Hippie Kit Harrington. Yeah, how is South Africa right now? Maybe I should only start reading the comments that are actually questions. Maybe that's the best way. I'll kind of be able to catch up. South Africa is better, friend. What you smoking in Africa? I'm smoking weed. I love your, I love your dad. I love to watch you dance. Thank you, friend. I want to start dancing again. I've just been very tired. How's it through? Doing well. Your face looks like it's deep faked. <laughs> Is that a good thing? I don't know. Maybe I'm not real. Maybe you're not real. Maybe I'm just an NPC here to, to give you your mission, friend. Will you receive it today? Will you take it up with a torch of love? I do hope so. Notice that he's not hurting anyone. We should all learn how to follow his lead. Mess with no one. Puzzle headed, thank you, friend, for sharing your love. Mm -hmm. oh, my feet. Ah, oh, shame. I've never met this African. Are you smoking? It still work. I wonder how the weed is. Chill for 20. Popper's name, Kiki. What's a good train to smoke? Uh... Like, it depends, friend. Sour Diesel is a, is a fan favorite. When I roll, I have excitement because I know I'm going to be so high after I smoke it. I guess that's one way to hype yourself up, Chris. Reincarnated Heath Ledger. You look like a guy who gives a side quest in video games. There you go. You said it as well now, OG. You have officially revealed. Damn it. The side quests have been given, friends. How many of you have already received it? I hope your friends who are leaving are going and doing your side quests. Okay, I need to put a smile on one person's face, need to make one person's day a little bit better. Even if that person is you, make your day a little bit better, friends. Thank you for the, that smile. I appreciate that as well. Base those. Gold. No, nice man. Shut the dog. Which country are you from? South Africa. Basically a PvP zone. <laughs> Basically, at this point, why oh, you look like Jon Snow, though? Goodness. <laughs> Some of the comments are like brain numbing. <laughs> I feel like I've read them so many times today. Oh, this is so much better than religion, lol. Yeah, religion. Religion is when a bunch of people come together and agree on what God is. Spirituality and what I believe it is we're trying to do here is trying to have a direct relationship with what God is. What about the smoke? Everybody, love everybody. That's the way, friend. That's the way. I'm trying to, to love as much as I can. South Africa is a war zone without Gulag. What strain? BB Bud, saving the world and melting together. Thank you, Kira. <sighs> Only love is real. Yes, yes. I love the big doby that is almost as beautiful as your curly hair. Thank you, friend. Thank you for the hugs as well. Uh, no, I'm not. Just be high on live. This is odd. I've never seen anything like this. I'm just lit up myself for the first time in a few months, open ready to be faced with such a chill guy doing the same. That sounds like synchronicity to me, silly ad. Thank you so much for sharing in the space. Do you have a doge? Yes, I do, friend. Love right, love right. The Kiff in the North. Please, <laughs> John Smoke. Uh, is marijuana legal? Yes, it is. You're not go gonna love or your way out of this one hippie. Uh, very yikes. <laughs> Do my students. Balance. Yes, balance, friend. Best rated live stream I've ever come across. Thank you, friend. I appreciate you sharing your love. Making it out in South Africa. How are you making out in South Africa? Barely, friend. We're, I'm trying to, at least in some ways, work towards being able to free myself from South Africa in some way. It's legal here. I want to be part. I, I want to be the part where I'm smoking DMT. I want to be the part where I'm smoking DMT. Oh, part of life? I mean, you already are, friend. You know, in a four-dimensional mindset, you kind of understand 
that time is a part, well, let's go, actually go five dimensional mind shift set. You understand that time is the fourth dimension and that in the fifth dimension, all things in the fourth dimension are caught up in the fifth dimension. So all of time is right now in a fifth dimensional mindset. And we've been here a trillion times and we are here a trillion times and not here a trillion times. <laughs> but yeah, don't get too deep into it, my friend. You are the part where you're spoken DMT as well and not. Is we legal? Yes. Want to smart that jet? Don't have an order without chaos and vice versa. That is true. What are you tapping? But we join. Mm -hmm. I don't seem to have volume on this. It's a little button down here. I feel like I did touch it. Oh. Thank you for the helpful. No, it's not. Balance, yes, friend. Marijuana does this to you. <sighs> we ain't gonna save the world. Capitalism destroyed us. With that attitude, we can't save the world. Get a job. Is this audio broken, anyone? I think it's probably because you don't have this little button press, my friend. Mm. Can save us now. I'm always chaotic. You can be love. You come from love. But you are so much more. That's true, my friend. Chaos brings order. They are intrinsically linked like good and evil. No good without evil and no evil without good, right? I do agree with that, friend. I do believe we get to choose, though. You know, which part of the spectrum you want to be. And which part of the spectrum you want to continue to practice. There's clearly more than enough people in our world practicing chaos right now. You know? So, I think... Because there's so many people practicing chaos, it's our responsibility to practice love, to practice order, to practice understanding and compassion for one another. Not only because it's the right thing to do and it's something that greatly benefits your own personal well-being and spiritual health, but because in doing so, you can basically change people's lives. And then in changing people's lives, you can have them change other people's lives. And it becomes this instant ripple effect of love flowing through the world, rippling through the world, changing people, making things better for all included. Sounds Dutch, almost like Dutch. <clears throat> no audio is good. Uh, woke pothead Lamau. Y'all will watch anything. My friend, clearly we will. And we are doing so in a, from a place of love. Thank you for the wholesome. Love is the only way. Yes, it is. Steadily shine. Hey, my friend. Green screen. No, I could listen to you talk all day. Thank you, Sand Shaker. If, if that's true, you're probably still here right now, even though I'm reading your message 44 minutes after you sent it. Bro, why are you tapping the thing? So that it's a little bit more stacked, friend. You can fit more weed in the same little tube, if you will doing now rooster thank you for the hugs dispenser we still can yes we can save the world i believe is what you're saying chaos does not equal destruction you yeah i think you know what i'm talking about friend where the sun does shine all the time is often desert that is also true and that's a beautiful way to put it as well obvious green screen like it's it's probably looking like a green screen because I have a light in front of my face, but it's very much not a green screen. <laughs> Thank you for the love, friend. And for the hugs as well. No, there isn't. Connor coming around. Bro, where are you at? South Africa is back in the joint. That's right. If there was a Big Bang, how did the Big Bang occur? That always baffles me. I mean, it's the same question for how did God occur at first, you know? I think it's beyond us. I think it is in a dimension that is not of physical origins. So for us, we need to understand something from this thing correlates to this thing, and then this thing correlates to that thing correlates to this thing. When if you're a being that literally is not a part of this dimension, you know, in no physical form, and something that is in itself dimensionless, like it's impossible for us to understand things in that mindset because we're very much contained almost in this reality. You are in Africa? Yeah, pretty much. South Africa, my friend. Uh, English, please. There seems to be a larger number of bothered people of it uh, than a typical front page. Nothing worthwhile, though. Mm. 
I don't think it's bothered. I, I just, like, I feel, again, right? Like, this is a co-created experience. We're sharing of one another and we're coming together to create something new. So what people choose to create, it says more about themselves than it does about the actual stream. And that's the thing that really concerns me sometimes is I want to see the majority good stuff. And I do. I do see the majority good stuff on your friends. But then there are, you know, ones that don't necessarily have good intent. It can be so loud that you can, it can almost drown out the good message. But I will cross. I will keep up the good message, my friend. It's something we can do together. <clears throat> Thank you for the wholesome that joins dense. Yes, it is uh, boring. It's, you don't have to stay, my friend. But thank you for being here for the time that you were. Love is fake. <laughs> you want? You just want some happiness. That's why we're here. Why am I watching this? Because you want to, friend. I don't know. I can't answer things for you. Why do people keep saying green screen? I don't know either. <clears throat> what are you smoking? I'm smoking marijuana. Spark it up already, bro. It's been sparked up. Hello from Austin, Texas. Sending valence electrons your way. You're free radical. Thank you, friend. Thank you for sending love. Damn, you should smoke less. Maybe at some point I will, friend. You have to unmute the stream. Thank you, Mammy, for letting him know as well. Get up my line, hippie. No, looks real. Very much real. Thank you for the helpful. Okay, okay, so... I'm gonna do something that I know is a little bit controversial, if you will. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom of the comments so that I can be a little bit more present with you, friends, because I'm 15 minutes behind. I'm still gonna read all of the, the comments, you know, afterwards, but for now, I wanna be in the space with you, friends. So thank you, friends, for the awards that you've given as well. I appreciate them so much, but I wanna be present. Mammy, Gloomy Sunshine, Edmund, Jovan. Thank you, friends, for joining me and still being here with me. We still have a lot of friends here today. 185 beings of light. Just imagine that. Just imagine if we, all of us, could, like, gather in the same space. You know, because we technically are gathered in the same space, you know. We're, it's almost like having this little window open to this other world. And we're all looking into this other world right now from our individual perspectives. If that window could just be expanded a little bit and you can step right through it and we can all be in the same space, just imagine how many conversations we would be able to have with one another, how much light we could share with one another, how much enjoyment, passion, oh, delightful life we could really communicate to one another. To know that there are so many of us that believe in the way that we do believe, that share the understandings that we share, to want to live life in a way that is going to be indicative of a way that we all grow together. Like breaking each other down, hurting each other, it hurts you as a being more than it actually hurts the person you're hurting. You know, and like it's, it's usually just time. Why does it have to take time? Why do we have to hurt ourselves for so long before we realize in hurting each other the way we are, we're basically just setting ourselves up to hurt ourselves at the end of it. And you're like, what, what the fuck are you talking about? So, for instance, I do something to someone which five years down the line, maybe in the moment I don't feel bad about it, you know, because I'm in my own egoic consciousness. Five years down the line, as I've started to form a little bit more of a moral system, as I've started to see how my actions turned out, I can look back at the things I've done and think to myself, damn, that was a horrible thing to do. And, you know, at least in my personal experience, a part of that, that was a horrible thing to do. There are these feelings of extreme shame, you know, extreme shame for what I've done and how I've lived my life before. And that, you know, is something to me that's more damaging than anything. Having that shame for the way that you experienced and expressed yourself in the world prior to the knowledge you have right now. I think that is where true forgiveness comes in as well. And that's what it's supposed to mean, you know, when you forgive yourself. is to forgive yourself in a way that you set yourself free from all of the things that you've told yourself you're unworthy of. We get so attached, so, so attached to our own 
past wrongdoings, you know, be it the things that we failed at, be it the bad decisions we made, be it the people that we hurt, be it the opportunities that we missed. We get to this point where we tell ourselves, you know, oh, look, you're, you're so stupid because you didn't see this thing, or you're so unworthy because you didn't take this, this opportunity, and, you know, like this whole idea of, oh, you have only one shot, you know, you have one break, you have one thing that's going to happen that is going to free you, that's going to make things different. And then when this thing happens, that is when life is going to start. That is when we're going to be free. That is when we're going to have this, you know, joy, if you will. When it's already here, you know, no matter where you go, there you are. We have everything we need to be as enlightened as we can ever hope to be friends. I'm so happy to be trying to do that with you. You know, to be sharing in a space like this, it, it baffles my mind sometimes just <laughs> how important this can be. Nowhere, nowhere have I ever experienced what it is I experience here. I've never been able to express myself in the way that I, I feel almost allowed to express myself when I'm with you friends. So much understanding and genuine communication and connection with one another and a sharing of, of ideas in a way that we, we don't necessarily have to filter ourselves. You know, it's something that hurts me so much to feel like you, you can't be yourself. You know, and I'm, I'm a very boring individual if I feel I can't be myself. You know, and it's, I've, I've noticed this of myself in the the dinners I've been having with my family where I'm either sharing my ideas and being met with extreme resistance or I stay completely quiet and that is the last thing that I want I don't want to be in a state of complete silence I don't want to not talk about things today was way too many people calling Mel Jon Snow such a fun stream today I wonder I wonder if the stream dropped. I think it might have. Because the last comment I saw was 11 minutes ago. And the, the numbers of views and upvotes are not changing. So I do assume the stream has bonked out and is no longer working. Thank you, friends. <sighs> Thank you so much for sharing the space with me for as long as you did. Thank you for loving me as much as I love you. Thank you for showing me that love is true. I appreciate you so much. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.